Hello, I am Aspirants and welcome to this special LRDI Master Series powered by Coachify. This is day 12. Here we are with another puzzle. If you are liking this series, if this series is adding value to your preparation, do let me know in the comment section. Let's proceed with our today's puzzle. The name of this puzzle is Coinbox. I have taken this from CAT 2023 slot 2. This puzzle is based upon mean and median. So we must be clear with these two terms, right? And then we can start this. So before proceeding from here, what you can do, you can take the screenshot of it. You can try this firstly on your own and then you can watch my solution. This is my interpretation of the puzzle. Firstly, you take its screenshot and then I'll start explaining it to you. We are provided with nine boxes in total in three rows and three columns. Right. And in each box, we have three sets with a certain number of coins in each set. Right. Now, the very first point says that the average number of coins per sec, how you are finding out the average number of coins per sec, that means whatever the total number of coins in any box, you are dividing that by three because how many sets are there in, in any box? Three. Right. So, this is how you are finding out your average number of coins per sec. It says that are all distinct integer. Firstly, we have to focus upon integer value. So when that value will be integer, when sum of all the coins in the three sets will be a multiple of three, then only that value will be integer, right? Otherwise, average will not be integer. This is what you have to understand. From this point, we can say that whatever the number of coins in any box will be a multiple of three, right? It is a multiple of three, whatever the value it is, the same is for, uh, same, uh, the same is for any column also, right? That means what I can say, whatever the total number of coins in my first row, it is nothing but 3x, I can say that it is some multiple of three. Okay, this is what I can conclude from the first point, right? Okay, now it says that all the values are distinct also. So when you will be calculating your averages for each and every box, you will find out different values ranging from 1 to 9. These are the different values possible, right? Now, it says that each row and column has the same total number of coins. What is the meaning of this point? Let's focus. So, this is 3x. That means the same is for all the other rows as well. That means the total number of coins in second row is also 3x and in third row also it is 3x. If I talk about first column, let's say it is 3y, then for second also 3y and third also 3y. Now the total number of coins will remain same. So if I add all the values for the three rows, this is coming out as 9x and it should be equals to 9y. From this, we can say that x is equals to y. An important conclusion. What is that? Whatever the total number of coins in any row is same and same is the value for every column. This is what I can understand from these two points, right? Important conclusion till here. Next, Table 1 shows the median number of coins in the three sets for some boxes. Okay. So as I've discussed with you already earlier that we need the concepts of mean and median to solve this particular puzzle. So what is median? So when you will arrange the three values in increasing or decreasing order, the middle value will be the median value, right? This is what we have to understand. Okay. So this I already have covered in some of the earlier puzzles. I hope that you have tried that puzzle as well, right? So Table 1 shows the median number of coins in the three sex for some boxes. That means these are the middle values. Out of the three values, this will be the middle value. This is what we are provided with. Table 2, each number indicates how many sex in the, that box have more than five coins. What is the meaning of this point? It says that let's talk about the second one, right? Second column and first row that means this box second box if i talk about this box this number two written here it shows that out of the three sex in this box exactly two sex are there in which there are more than five coins one we can see nine the other one will be above five right this is what the meaning of this point now a star means one of these conditions is satisfied what conditions the conditions are provided here out of these three conditions only one condition will be satisfied. Exactly one condition will be satisfied when, when there is a one star. That means out of these three conditions, exactly one is true for this box, right? And two star means two or more conditions are met. That means if there is a two star, that means minimum out of these three, minimum two conditions will meet more than two. That means all the three conditions can also meet. That is the meaning of this point. Now we are provided with some conditions. 
we'll begin with that and we'll start solving this puzzle. Okay, so let's have a look at our very first question. It says that what is the total number of coins in all the boxes in the third row? In each row, it will be same. Doesn't matter, we have already discussed that, right? And in each column also, it will be same, right? The value will be same. Okay, let's, let's try and find it out with the help of these two. Already we have discussed. So we are saying that for each and every box, there is a distinct average. Ranging from 1 to 9, we have these three distinct average values, right? So, if I talk about the sum of all these values, right, it will be 3 into 1, then 3 into 2, right, this is the average multiplied by total number of terms, so in total we have 3 sex, so that's why I'm multiplying it by 3 to get my total value of coins in any box, right, 3 into 1 plus 3 into 2, 3 into 3, likewise, 3 into 9, if I take 3 common, this becomes 1 plus 2 plus till 9, this sum is 45 multiplied by 3. This is my total number of coins, including all the rows. Right? So if I have to talk about any particular row, I'll simply divide it by 3. This is my sum of all the coins in any row. From that, I can easily mark answer for first question, which is C option. Okay. Now, for the remaining questions, what I have to do, I have to fill this using table 1 table 2 and these three points. For median also what I am doing, I am arranging all the value of number of coins in the sex in this order. That means this is my increasing order. This is the order in which I am arranging. This is what I have to follow, right? You, you can only use two ways, right? Either this one or this one. It's up to you, right? Okay. So let's talk about this box first. I am comfortable in starting with this box, right? Okay, why so? You'll come to know. So we have median value as 9. And for this box, we are provided with this condition 2 and star, 1 star. That means 2 represents exactly there are 2 sex in which there is more than 5 number of coins. 1 we are having here. So more than 5 means it can have 6, it can have 7, it can have 8 or it can have 9. And we have already seen in our description in the beginning that exactly we have the number of coins ranging from 1 to 9. These are the values possible, right? So, this value, if I am taking this order for median, this value cannot be less than 9. That means this value will be 9. This value will be 9, right? Okay. Now, if I look at the condition here, 1 star means exactly one of the three is true for this box. So if I talk about the third point, the maximum among the number of coins in the three sex in the box is 9. I have already used it because I can see that maximum is 9. That means this is not true. This is not true for this box. So now what is the value possible for this one? What are the different values possible? So this is 18 and I know that my sum must be a multiple of 3. Otherwise, the average will not be an integer value, right? I have to meet this condition also. So to make it an integer and multiple of 3, what are the different values I can take? So this is 18. 18 plus 2 will be 20. No, it's not a multiple of 3. 18 plus uh, 3, right? It is 21. It is a multiple of 3. So I can take 3 here. This is one value possible. Let's check if other values are also possible. Uh, apart from 3, I cannot take uh, 6, right? Why I cannot take 6? Because if I take 6, then obviously 18 and 6 will be 24 and a multiple of 3 it is. But I cannot take it because here it is mentioned that exactly there are two sex in which we have more than 5 coins. That means this is the only condition possible for this box. So we have got all the number of coins for the 3 sex in this particular box, right? I hope you understood till here. I'll also do one thing, I'll mention the average for every box about that also, so that I can, you know, understand the things in a very nice manner. So 18 and 3, this is 21, the average is 7 for this box. This is my average value for this box, 7 is the average, right? So I've got one average so far. Now remaining is 1 to 6 and then 8 and 9, okay. Now let's focus on this box, right? So we are provided with the information in table 2 that exactly there is one sec which is having number of coins above 5. And there are 2 stars. That means out of these 3, exactly 2 will hold true. Right? Already we can see that the median here is 2. That means this is not true for this box. Median cannot be 1. That means the remaining 2 conditions are true. That means the maximum among the number of coins in the 3 sex in this box is 9. This is the maximum value. 
right? And this is also true. So minimum value is one. That means I have also got the numbers for this box. So what is the average for this box? This is nothing but 10 into 12 divided by 3, 4. So we have got one more average value, which is 4. For this box, my average is 4. For this box, my average is 7. Okay, now we'll focus upon this box. So we are provided with this condition. 3 says that all the sets are having value of coins above 5, right? 1 is 8. What can be the value for this sec, right? There is one star. That means exactly one condition out of the 3 will meet. What can be that condition? This is the condition, third one. The median of the coins in the 3 sex is 1. This is not true. The minimum number of coins in the 3 sex in any of the 3 sex is 1. This is also not true. Why? Because it says that all the 3 sex are having value of coins as greater than 5. So this is also not true. That means the third one is true. So this should be 9. And for this first sec, what are the different values possible? So above 5 I have to pick. That means it can be the 6, it can be 7, it can be 8, right? These are the three values possible. If I take it as 6, the sum will be 23. If I take it as 7, then the sum will be 24 and will be divisible by 3, right? So this will be 7. This cannot be 8, otherwise it will be 25, not divisible by 3. So I've got my numbers for this box as well. So my sum is coming out as 24 here and the average is 8. So this is the average for this box. So these three boxes are completely sorted as of now. Okay guys, now let's focus upon this box. This will be easy to solve, right? Why? Because we got the sum for these two boxes. What is the sum here? So this is 8 into 3, 24, 4 into 3, 12. 12 plus 24, 36. And I know that my sum of all the coins for any row or any column should be same, which is 45. Already I have find out, right? This is my answer for first question, 45. So till here I got 36. That means the sum of all the coins in this box must be 9. I have to find out 9. What are the ways of getting 9? Now let's look at this box. So there is exactly one box. There is exactly one sec out of the three in which we have more than five coins. What are the values possible? More than five. What are the values possible? We can take it as 7. When we take 7, that means the remaining 2 should be 1, 1. And then only this 2 star will meet. Right? What is the condition here? Out of the 3, exactly uh, minimum 2 are true. Can the maximum among the number of coins in the 3 sex is 9? No, it cannot. Otherwise, the other 2 should be 0. Right? How you will get that sum as 9 otherwise? Right? So this is not true. That means these 2 are true. Mean and median both are 1, 1. So when mean and median both are 1, that means this value is only 7 possible. That means we got all the numbers for our this box 1, 1 and 7. What is the sum? 9. What is the average? Nothing but 3. This is the average. Okay, now let's focus upon this box. So we are provided with the condition here. The number is 0. That means the number of coins in all the sex in this box will be less than 5. None of the values above 5. Less than or equal to 5. One star says exactly one condition out of the three is true. What can be that condition then? The first condition will be true, right? The minimum number of coins in the three sex is one. This cannot be true. If I take this as true, then two conditions will be true. Here is only one star. So this is one. Now what are the possibilities for the other sex? This can be two, this can be three. In that case, the sum is six, average is two, possible. One, three and five. This is also possible. Right, 5, 3, 8 and 1, 9. This is also possible. But here my average is coming out as 3. Already I have got that average. And we know that all the average values are distinct from 1 to 9. That means this is not possible. Only one condition is possible for this. And I have got my numbers for this box. Average is coming out as 2. Sorted. Now let's focus upon this box. So my sum for this column should also be 45. This is 7 into 3, 21. This is 2 into 3, 6, 21 plus 6, 27. That means the sum of all the coins in this box is 18. How can I get this 18? Now, for this box, I am provided with this condition in table 2. So exactly there are two sets in which the number of coins is above 5. And out of the three, minimum two conditions I have to meet. Now let's go for second point. If the median is 1, then this has to be 1. Now there is no way possible through which I can get the sum as 18. Because the maximum value for the third sec is 9. This is 9 into 11. This is not possible. That means this point is nullified. Now I have to meet two conditions. 
this is true this is true so 1 is 9 minimum is 1 9 and 1 10 that means the only value possible for the median is 8 so the sum is 18 right and my average is 6 this is my average value for this box now let's focus upon this box the sum for this row has to be 45 8 into 3 is 24 6 into 3 is 18 that means the sum is 42 that means the sum for this box has to be 3 then only it will be 45 now let's look at the condition for this box so there is no sec in which I have more than five coins right and then we have two star that means this is eliminated so this and this has to be true that means minimum value is one median is one now I have to find out my sum as three that means this has to be one and the average for this box is coming out as one now let's focus upon this box the sum for this row has to be 45 4 into 3 is 12, 3 into 2 is 6, 12 and 6 is 18, that means this has to be 27. The sum for all the coins in this box has to be 27, then only the sum will be 45 for this row, right? Now let's focus upon this box. It says that all the sex in this box are having more than 5 coins. And then 1 star, so out of the 3 exactly 1 has to be true. This cannot be true, this cannot be true, this has to be true. Otherwise, the sum will not be 27. That means the maximum value is 9 and I have to find out my sum as 27. That means the other values should also be 9. The average for this box is coming out as 9. What are the various averages I got? I got 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9. That means the average for this box has to be 5. The average is 5. That means the sum is 15. Out of this 15, one number is 6. That means the sum of the remaining two numbers must be 9. What are the ways possible? It can be 1, it can be 8, it can be 2, it can be 7. It can be 3, it can be 6. Right? These are the ways. But let's focus upon this box. It says that exactly two sex are having value above 5. One I can see. The other one has to be above 5. And we have one star. So if we have one star, that means what? Can I take this value as 9? I cannot take this as 9 because otherwise this will be 0 which is not possible. That means this is not true. The median is not 1. That means this is true. If this is true, this case is true. That means one value is 1, other one is 8. With this, I have cracked my entire puzzle, right? Now let's focus upon the questions. So question number 2, how many boxes have at least one sec containing 9 coins? How many such boxes are there in which at least there is one sec in which we have nine coins? One, two, three, four, five. The correct answer is five. Next, for how many boxes are the average and the median of the number of coins contained in the three sacks in that box the same? That means the average and median should be same. Okay. For this one, the average is three, median is one. For this one, the average is two, median is four. Average is eight and median is eight. This is one box. Here the average is 2 and median is also 2, one more box, so I've got 2 so far, right? Uh, then we have one more here, the average is 1, median is 1, one more here. So in total we have 4 such boxes in which the average and median is same. This is 1, this is 1, right? Third one and here we have fourth one, right? In total we have 4 such boxes. Correct answer is 4. How many sex have exactly one coin? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9. I think 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 3, 9. Correct answer is 9. In how many boxes do all three sex contain different number of coins? All the three sex are having different numbers. So this is one box. This is one more. This is one more. This is one more such box. This is one more such box. So in total, how many boxes? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Correct answer for the question is 5. So this was our day 12. I hope you understood this puzzle. This was a very good puzzle, right? Based upon your mean and median, it, was, it, it comes under the category of quant based puzzle. For more such content, do subscribe this channel. Please share amongst your friends, right? That's the motivation for me. Uh, till then, keep solving, keep growing. Let's meet up in the next video. Bye-bye and take care.